humans are on this planet uh, over 300 years, and uh, that's a continuous progress. So generally, they became better and better and better. Uh, and don't forget that uh, not only pianos improve, public changes too. So it's both ends of that. And music is in between. There is something about the paradox of playing old music on the instruments from the time now in, in modern times, in 2017, that resonates very strongly with people for some reason. The sound. For me, the sound is something fascinating. And the way that builders have been looking for having different sounds uh, coming from their own workshop uh, is also something we've lost. Once I had a privilege to play for 25 minutes on 1783 Conrad Graf piano, which was immaculately restored. And on that same piano, young Beethoven played for Haydn. Imagine what you feel when you touch it. And uh, I had a chance to play uh, the pianos which belonged to Frédéric Chopin. That's it's also it's a special story. They have different voice. Some features modern instruments do not have, but the time goes on. And uh, we have to, I believe, not to imitate that sound, but to imitate the spirit behind. Hierher zu bringen, das ist nicht nur Genuss, das ist einfach eine Wahrheit. Äh, für heute, wenn wir äh, über echte Histori Historismus sprechen, nicht nur, es ist auch wie zum Beispiel eine Ikone, die äh, später bemalt war von verschiedenen späteren Schichten. Dann die falschen Schichten weg, dann haben wir wieder neue, schöne Welt äh, der, der alten ursprünglichen Farben. As a concert pianist, a violist, and everybody who is interested uh, in um, the instruments, we need to get them out of the museum and make them play. Today, even the best pianos, because of the automation and because of the tools and simply because of the size of the factory, their level of those pianos is um, pretty much constant. Of course, you will go to Hamburg and think, oh, this time is wonderful, this one is horrible, but it's all exaggerated. Builders in the 19th century and for sure at the time of Chopin, nobody wanted to have the same sound because everybody wanted to be different and to have his own marked it uh, and own kind of aesthetic. Um, and so even in the French uh, building art, uh, Playel and Erard were just two different worlds. Um, and it's really interesting to see how composers have been finding their own voice with their own sound, going to the builder they would like or they would prefer.
and this resonating uh, kind of angel upper notes, uh, this is something which would also inspire not only Chopin but Liszt in all this kind of uh, uh, pureness of the high notes. Um, in opposition to that, you have really powerful uh, basses, like you can have in this uh, slow movement of the sonata, the third one. It's a little bit like speaking a dialect because it's, it's all the same notes and the same nuances and the same music, but it, you have to realize it differently because um, modern instruments give you a tremendous dynamic range and a tremendous possibility of articulation and sound and many, many things and sustaining, which oh, the older instruments don't. You have to work within the range of the instrument because you can't ask it to do something it can't do. Sé que hay muchos de mis colegas que no, eh, decir, no reemplazarían nunca al piano moderno por el piano antiguo o un piano de época. Y puedo comprenderlo también, porque uno ha sido educado eh, musicalmente ¿no? eh, en el Stenway moderno, en los pianos modernos. Entonces muchas veces este, eh, cuesta mucho hacer esa especie de clic mental que te lleva a... Um, a querer hacer la experiencia en un piano de época. Eh, en mi caso, bueno, lo hice eh, al principio sin mucho eh, convencimiento de mi parte y después resultó ser, como te decía, una experiencia enriquecedora. Porque uno se mete de alguna manera en, un, en otro mundo sonoro, en otro ámbito sonoro, y entonces por ahí descubre otras cosas en las que antes no ni siquiera había pensado. Y bardzo często jak publiczność przychodzi po raz pierwszy na na koncert, gdzie słyszy recital na instrumencie historycznym, musi mieć jednak przynajmniej kilka minut, żeby się oswoić z tym wydawałoby się cienkim, delikatnym, delikatnym brzmieniem. Ale jak już się do tego przyzwyczają, to naraz ten cały hałas, który nas otacza, to, to wszystko zaczyna się uciszać i naraz się słyszy ten czysty, czysty dźwięk fortepianu. Już nie przeszkadza wtedy, że, że, że już nie wali się w ten fortepian, że, że są niuanse zupełnie inne niż na, na, na Steinmeju, na, na instrumentach współczesnych, że jest o dziwo większy, większa barwa, większa paleta yy, możliwości dźwiękowych że basy mają swój kolor, że soprany mają swój kolor, że są inne alikwoty. It's a whole universe of colors, uh, which is interesting because um, each finger can tell something different. Uh, you can have also surprises on the way. It's a journey. When you, you start with such a piece, uh, and, and the big pieces or uh, more, then you have uh, you have an adventure anyway, every time. de época es, es, hay que tocar con mucho más cuidado, es mucho más livianito y hay que suplantar de alguna forma la, la gran dinámica que tiene el piano moderno y dar la ilusión de esa dinámica a través de sutiles diferencias de articulación que hay que producir en el piano de época. Y eso requiere un gran dominio del teclado, un gran dominio inclusive técnico. Esa es la diferencia. Entonces lleva un cierto periodo de, para acostumbrarse, digamos, porque el pianista tiene que, de alguna manera, eh, jugar con su, con su aparato muscular de otra forma y también con su forma de oír la música. Es decir, hay un periodo de adaptación que es necesario.
piano is and has to be an all-round instrument. It has to be an instrument which serves all purposes, from John Cage to back to whatever. So by, by that demand, it has to be neutral, a bit like a blank sheet of paper. And I say this without any criticism because it's a necessary consequence. It's somehow it had to be like this. Playing music on the specific instrument it was composed for, having the specific sound the composer had in mind, it makes certain things sound more natural and more convincing, I would say. Moje pierwsze wrażenie i mój pierwszy kontakt z wykonawstwem historycznym odbył się za sprawą pewnego wykonania orkiestry XVIII wieku pod Francem Bruchenem. Ja doznałem szoku, dlatego że ulubione moje koncerty brandenburskie, których, który, które znałem praktycznie na pamięć, ujawniły kompletnie inny kształt. To nie były te utwory, chociaż były nimi. Jak usłyszałem brzmienie tej orkiestry, jak sobie wyobraziłem, że może naraz tutaj wtargnąć, nie wiem, Steinway, Yamaha, Kawaii, wszystko jedno, w to ich brzmienie, to wtedy zrozumiałem, jak zacząłem, że to ma absolutnie sens. historycznego przez wytrawnego pianistę czy pianistkę otwiera zupełnie inną sferę wyobraźni dźwiękowej. Those old pianos, they don't have a seducing sound. They just have a kind of a dry sound. You cannot seduce anymore. You have nothing to show. It's just the music there. And your, your connection to the conductor, to the musicians, to the, to the orchestra, and to yourself and to the music. So there is nothing towards the public, you know. Tylko kwestia doprowadzenia Marty Archerycz, Marii Piresz. I tak się zaczyna bardzo często długa przygoda artysty z instrumentem historycznym. Yes. Hello. Fine. And you? Okay. I don't know. Marta Archerycz. I felt I had to do differently things. You have to be more fluid in the 
I go ahead and not, uh, in order to get some kind of expression, because it, of course the sound is drier, a little bit drier. Mm -hmm. So you need to do some other things in order to compensate. They tell you so much uh, about the importance of the sound because you can't force them. You can't ask something from the instrument. You can't say, I want something. It's given to you. Noi interpreti che veniamo dalla musica antica abbiamo molto gusto e molto piacere a entrare dentro il dettaglio. Questo spesso negli interpreti moderni non si fa, certe volte per un problema di tempo, certe volte per un problema anche così di, di mentalità. Eh, servire la musica con molto amore e soprattutto cercare i dettagli in tutta la musica significa rendere giustizia al compositore. Playing on historical instruments is not a recreation of, it, of an historical ideal. It's very much a postmodern, modernist ideal. That is that we've created a sound for this music that we identify with when we play Bach concertos on period instruments. This is a sound that is totally modern. Um, but somehow audiences can feel that sense of collective rediscovery in this repertoire when we do this together. We cannot really get close to historical reality. I'm sure about this. If suddenly Mr. Beethoven or Mozart or Mr. Chopin would be alive, alive and, and listen to what we do, they would probably laugh or cry. And on the other hand, if we went there, we would probably discover a very strange room with a lot of smelly people and a terribly out of tune instruments doing something very strange or, or, an incredible level of perfection which we can't even dream about. Both are possible and we will never know. When you're so much busy with these instruments, at a certain point you forget totally the dates and you forget totally the fact that it's 100 years, it's 150 years. Um, somehow it's a travel in time and space.
don't have this love for the past, we will be civilization without any kind of a historical conscious in 20 years. It's a big danger we have now. The more we are busy in the virtual world, the less we are busy with the real wood and the real uh, blood uh, of the material. These old instruments, uh, they are just for me a bridge between the present where I live and the past, maybe the time of Chopin or whatever. And what happens when you touch them, it will be in between, between the past and the present. It's difficult to return to the old way. For me, old way is modern piano every day. <laughs> and sometimes I play, I'm playing modern piano. And it's good also sometimes just to feel, oh, okay, everybody's doing that, so I have to know again, how was it? <laughs> but yeah. I'm so much excited about these guys, these animals, right now, still after so much years.